Hi guys, I'm Alex, the audio scientist. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about noise floor, what it is, what it does, and how it affects your final audio. Noise floor is generally considered to be the audible level of background noise in a recording when no narration is taking place. Bottom line, the lower your noise floor, the better. A high noise floor in a home studio can be caused by many things. HVAC systems, computer fans, refrigerators, noise from outdoors, and even the microphone or preamp itself. To achieve a low noise floor that meets ACX standards, it's important to utilize a high-quality microphone and preamp, and to isolate that microphone from these extraneous noises as much as possible, utilizing a well-soundproofed recording space. It's best to address your noise floor issues during the recording stage, but if it's too late for that, I've still got you covered. Here's a quick tip on how to apply an EQ to help reduce noise floor. Often, you'll find that there is a lot of low-frequency content in a recording that is just not necessary. This low rumble can have an adverse effect on your noise floor. We'll use a high-pass filter, sometimes called an HPF, to remove these unwanted frequencies. A high-pass filter effectively reduces and removes all frequencies below its selected cutoff point. First, let's listen back to this audio file on a good set of headphones. There isn't much to hear, but you can see the ambient noise floor level when you look at our meters. The noise in this file is actually just the HVAC system of Audible's offices, and it's a really low rumble. Now, open any parametric EQ plugin. I'll be using the stock Pro Tools EQ, but most popular digital audio workstations have similar capabilities. Next, find the control labeled HPF. If there is an in-out toggle switch, be sure it is engaged. Then, dial in the appropriate frequency, usually between 70 and 100 Hz, and everything below that frequency will be attenuated. And feel free to adjust the frequency if you hear that it has an adverse effect on your voice. So, if we look at our metering now, we still don't hear much, but can see on the meters how the noise floor has been reduced, resulting in a much more pleasant listening experience. Different voices may require different settings. The goal is to set the HPF so that it does not have any unwanted effects on the lower range of your voice. A safe setting is generally around that 70 to 100 Hz range. But always use your ears to find the appropriate setting for each project. Remember, it's essential to try and keep the noise floor to a minimum during recording. If it is too high in the recording editing stage, it will be even higher once your audio goes through the mastering stage. ACX requires a noise floor of no higher than negative 60 dB RMS in final audio submissions. It's best to combat a noisy recording area at the source to help ensure your final audio meets the ACX audio submission requirements. For other helpful tips on your recording process, visit the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.